Hello guys and welcome back in Junior Brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix two minute request error in WordPress 2025. So make sure to watch the video to the end and follow these simple steps. And if you find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe, share this video and leave a like. And now let's begin. So first we will need just to understand the causes of such problem. So simply either you are having too many requests that means either someone trying to attack in your website and by using the ddos attack that will send too many requests to your server and that would create such error or sometimes it can uh, be uh, by people trying to brute force in your uh, login page or your admin credentials by trying to add in many times your password and uh, username so first you will be needing to try to find and deactivate some behaving uh, misbehaving plugins by trying to deactivate the plugins that might be the problem for such error so simply go to your admin dashboard go to plugins and then go to the latest plugin that you have installed since this problem has been caused so simply try one by one don't bulk action so don't just select go for example by one deactivated so here i have uh, this one already deactivated so we'll have a button such this one so you will need just to click on deactivate and start seeing if the problem persists so just go plugin by plugin until you have this problem fixed otherwise you can try to switch to a default wordpress theme because sometimes there might have an overloaded theme that has trying to uh, perform many requests so go to appearance themes and try to use a classic one or just the default one like the 2020 or whatever after that you can try to change your wordpress login url so you can avoid people trying to attack your website you can use a plugin that would do that automatically so you can simply go to add plugins and from there you can uh, search for the wps login so here WPS login and after that you will need just to add this one and that would hide and will change WP login.php to anything you want. So you will change the URL where you want to connect. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.